Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Kyle from I Get You Inc. And uh, this is just a quick video showing you guys how to get older enhancer um, for free for your iDevice. Uh, today I'm going to be using iPod Touch Second Gen, jailbroken on the 4.0 firmware. Uh, this is the 4.0, not the 4.1 firmware. I used um, Red Snow to jailbreak my 4.0. But anyways, enough of that. Um, as you guys can see, I do have Cydia right there. Um, and the background and install this. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up Cydia. Uh, I had it running in the background, so mine went open a little faster than you guys. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. So when you first open up Cydia, you know, it goes to the home page. So I'm going to go to the home page. This is the home page, right? So what you got to do is, is hit manage down here, sources, edit in the top right. And add. So tapped it. All right, and then in right here, in that box, you're gonna add the source Cydia. So sure everybody knows how to spell that. Dot Excellence. Dot com. I'm not, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but it's spelled Cydia. Dot X S E L L I Z E and then dot com. get that clear. I'll put a link in the description to the video. I can't get it clear. I'm using my cell phone to record this video. Anyway, make it cancel because I already have it installed right there. I'm hit done. Alright. So we have the source installed now and ready to go. It's going to say updating. It's going to say up. When you hit add source, something will pop up to say uh, this source is known for illegal something, blah, blah, blah. Hit add anyway if that pops up. Or if not, it's going to say updating source. Wait for the update. It's going to be a black screen. It's a little drag bar going to go past. And if it, when it's finished updating, it, it's updated. Then you want to hit Manage. Um, then you go hit Search right here. Then Search for Folder Enhancer. All right? Folder F-O... Oh, hell. I can't spell. F-O-L-D-E-R. All right? Enhancer, folder enhancer, you scroll just here. Alright, you're going to have two of them. Alright, one's going to be a great icon with a question mark, and one's going to be uh, a blue uh, blue writing that says folder enhancer with a yellow uh, a drill like uh, icon. Well, when you, anything that's blue in City, that's paid stuff, alright? And anything that's from uh, X Silly's is cracked stuff. So basically, the gray one is the cracked version uh, of the one that you will get for free. Alright? Uh, so, what is Folder Enhancer? Alright? I'm going to go ahead and hit on the, on, the, on the real one so you can see the features of the real one because I'm not sure if the cracked version shows the features or not. Alright? So, basically, the features. Open folders faster than what they open right now. Uh, adds up to 320 icons, which is a lot compared to Apple's, uh, I think it's 12 per folder. This allows you to have up to 360. So this is a great uh, uh, tweak for people that have a lot of apps and, and stuff inside each of their, on their iPods and stuff that we get organized. Uh, so 320. Uh, 20 pages, 16 per each page. So this allows you to swipe through um, allows you to swipe through your folders so you can go uh, for your uh, icons. Uh, you can create folders in folders, and the folders in folders uh, in folders load so fast. Uh, it supports iconoclasm for custom layouts uh, inside of folders. Extends a multi icon mover to allow moving multiple icons into and out of. Uh, folders, so that's a great plus. Uh, options including hiding the folder name and uh, wallpaper, as well as disabling animations. So I mean, this add-on uh, slash tweak, whatever you want to call it, is amazing. Uh, the developer was the same developer of uh, Backgrounder, Lance Fetters, Ash K, Ash Case, whatever his name is. You can see right there, he developed Backgrounder. If you're not uh, familiar with him, but uh, 
go ahead. I mean, if you guys believe in the whole try before buy, go ahead. Uh, with all means, crack. Go get the crack version, then come pay for the real version and support Lance Fetters because he's a great, great developer for the iPod because he brought this amazing background and now uh, with this amazing uh, what is this folder enhancer. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the crack version so I can show you a preview of it and then later on to probably tonight or so when mommy gets home, I'm gonna get the real version. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead back. And this is for those who want the crack version. Go ahead and hit the gray one, the one with the gray icon. And as you can see, it's the author said Exilius or whatever. There's only a great question mark here. It's just a little uh, glitch inside this Exilius uh, repo. But in the top right, you're going to install. Hit install. I think I hit it. Ah, oh, hell. My iPod is sprung. But uh, when it comes back up, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, pause this video real quick. Yeah, so I'm loading Mac City up uh, after my iPod. After Sid just crashed on me. Uh, it's been doing that lately. I don't know why. But, yeah. Thanks for it to load up. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hit search. See if it, it can take me over there. Search. Nope, we'll allow me to. So I'll pause this video and then get back to you when it's finished. Alright, so we're in the search part. We'll go back and type for folder enhancer. Okay. Um, oh man, hold on. Still roll it. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're back. Uh, we're going to hit uh, search for folder enhancer again. Sorry about that crash. Um, the folder enhancer and scroll up to it. And I already explained. Uh, we're going to hit install in the top right. Hopefully, it doesn't crash again. Alright, it doesn't. Uh, let's wait for it. My iPod's going kind of slow. Uh, and then you want to hit confirm again in the top right. It's going to be running, uh, downloading, folder enhancer. It's going to be installing. And this is a system tweak, so it's going to tell you to respring your iPod after this, or perhaps uh, reboot, uh, most likely respring. And you're going to see the major difference. All right, so. Uh, when this finish reloading data, I'm gonna pause this video, uh, then get my USB charger. Cause you just see my uh, thing pop up. So waiting, 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 waiting. So turn the rescreen. I'm pretty sure it would. It will. Uh, don't forget to check out my website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. www.elikeinc.dot. I see it's rescreen right there. Uh, dot blogspot dot com. I'll put a link in the video uh, below. Uh, well, not in the video. I put a link below this video. I'm sorry. Uh, it's gonna be springing right now. Hopefully, got eight minutes on this video. I gotta show you a quick demo of it. All right. So it's respawned. Uh, I'm typing my password. Got that message again. All right. So here we go. So. One of the uh, options is that you can create folders in the dock. All right, Apple limits you from creating folders while you're in the dock. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this right now. As you can see, it just worked. See, there you go. You got a folder just created from inside the dock. All right. See how fast it loads? Tremendously, tremendously fast. That one loads fast. All right. So another feature they said they added. Uh, well, I can't really do it right now because I'm running out of time. But basically, uh, that's one of the features they added. And don't forget to go check this out. This is how to get. It. Order enhancer for free. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com slash I get a treat, and don't forget to check out my website, free movies, games, music. I'm taking requests. This is a launch of a great website. Uh, this is new Kyle, new ready to go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, to subscribe, like this video, and tell your friends about me. Uh, I'm pretty good with iPods. If you need help, just holler at me. Don't forget to check out my website, elikeinc.blogspot.com. Peace.